mobile players. Essentially the butt of all jokes in the Minecraft PvP community, their circumstances are unfortunate. Because of the device they have, the only control type that they can use are touch controls, widely regarded as the worst control type in all of Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So today, I put myself in mobile player's shoes to test and find out what's really wrong with touch controls and why they are so bad. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to get notifications when I go live or post a new video. Now, enjoy this video. So I got a new phone recently, and you may ask why is that even relevant to this video. We well, see, I've been wanting to do this video for a while, but my old phone was really bad. It's from like 2015 or 2016, and it's barely holding on and staying alive at this point. Like, if I try and record Minecraft on it, the battery will still go down even while it's charging. Not to mention the horrendous frame rate and the tiny screen. But either way, I have a new phone now, which means that I can record this video, which I'm really excited to do. So with my new phone in hand, and nothing but my fingers to control the game, I decided to play some high survival games and I get destroyed immediately. I mean, to be completely honest, I'm not sure what else I expected. I haven't played mobile controls on this game in at least a few months, and obviously mobile controls are garbage in the first place. Well, not really. Mobile controls aren't garbage, they're actually pretty decent for what they are, but as compared to a controller or a keyboard and mouse, they really just don't compete. For example, one key functionality that touch controls lack that both keyboard and mouse and controller have is the fact that you can't look behind you at all. There's not even a button or anything, which means that if you're running from someone or you hear someone behind you and you need to start running, you can't even look behind you to see what gear they have or see how close they are to figure out if you can even take the fight. And it's a huge disadvantage in games like survival games especially where running is a pretty big component of it. Another disadvantage that mobile players have, especially against PC players, is the fact that they have to be doing so many things at once. This is going to be a lot to understand, so make sure you're paying attention if you're actually interested in how this works. Basically, if you're on keyboard and mouse, you can be doing a lot more things at once. For example, you can be going forward, sprinting, strafing, and moving your mouse all at the same time. Meanwhile, on touch controls, you're essentially limited to moving in a singular direction and either turning your character and aiming or tapping on the screen to hit your opponent. If you want to throw a snowball or shoot an arrow to try and get someone into a combo, well, you're going to be taking a lot more time and in that downtime, you're not going to be able to hit your opponent or aim during either of that very easily. Now, for some of the more sweaty PvPers, I know there is stuff like claw grip, which can help you do a lot more things at once, but this video is more directed to the average mobile player who literally just plays with their two thumbs. Now, one thing that I found to be not as bad as it could be is looting. You pretty much just tap an item and tap the slot you wanted to go into, which I thought would be a lot harder than it actually was, but it really isn't that slow at all. It's obviously slower than playing on PC, but it isn't that difficult. I also didn't just play survival games during this testing, though. I also tried out Skywars. Now, Skywars is actually pretty sweaty when you play it on PC, but I forgot that there's actually matchmaking to pair you with other players of the same device. This meant that during my time playing Skywars, I was actually playing against just other mobile players. Now, this didn't entirely help, though, for a few reasons. First of all, I'm actually garbage at bridging on mobile. I just couldn't figure out how to do it in a way that was actually efficient and fast. I actually found that Java bridging was probably the safest way to do it, assuming no one else was around you, just because it was slow, but it kept you alive and you wouldn't fall off the map when trying to bridge. The other reason why I didn't get that many fights in Skywars was the fact that Skywars players are some of the most timid players you'll ever find. They legitimately won't fight you unless you come to them, and with good reason to be completely honest because they've been destroyed by PC players for their entire time playing on the Hive. And while I got a few kills as a result of this, I could never actually close out any Skywars games just because I'm that bad at mobile controls and either fall off the map or find someone who had just had better gear than me. Oh yeah, I also noticed that mobile players don't like to bridge earlier, and that's why pearls are essentially a necessity, and that's why mobile players literally just use pearls to get around in Skywars. Assuming they get pearls off of their island, they'll just go straight to mid. They don't even care about bridging. They'll just pearl and not even have to worry about getting knocked off a bridge or anything. And honestly, I kind of respect and understand it. It's just kind of a funny thing to see. 
And in this video, I pretty much just confirm that touch controls are inferior to controller or keyboard and mouse. However, that's not to say that you're bad if you use touch controls because there are some really, really good touch control players. For example, there's this touch controls player named Perseus who actually ended up beating Mr. Sam, who is a decent PvPer on keyboard and mouse in a best of 20. He beat him 15 to 5. I'll link it up in the top right if you guys want to watch it because it's actually like really cool to see a touch player doing really well in a 1v1. However, I'd say probably for the average player who wants to get decent at PvP, touch controls probably aren't the way to go. If you're on a phone and you have the money, I'd say either buy a controller or a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. I think those would be better and would help you improve your PvP a lot because touch controls just simply aren't as good as keyboard and mouse or controller for the reasons that I mentioned earlier in the video. Oh yeah, I should probably also give the disclaimer that this was just me playing Minecraft on touch controls for about an hour. Your experiences may vary and you probably will get better at touch controls if you play for a longer time than me, but I just didn't really have that much time to be able to play. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Tell me in a comment if I forgot to mention anything that makes it difficult for touch control players against PC or controller players. I'd really like to hear it. Also, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I strive to make super good content like this, so if you enjoy it, subscribing would help me so much. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.